You've obviously played with these people since college, but everybody's taken their different path. And sometimes you don't even get to know these people. So what's been like just developing the relationships? Yeah, it is. It's, uh, I think, first of all, being able to have the conversation. Oftentimes we get on these teams, we're like, wait, we can't understand anything. So the ability to be on the same page, like relatively quickly. And then also it's like, oh, wait, I know where you went to college, but now where have you been and and kind of what's brought you to this point? So I, it's led to a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of great conversations and getting to know people um, and kind of diving deep into that as well. You bring up a really simple point, just actually knowing the same language as your teammate, not being in a foreign country. Like, that's a super underrated thing. Can you just explain that for folks? Like you have to go to a random country, learn a random language and just expect to immerse yourself in a whole different culture. Yeah, it's a, it's definitely a mixture of emotions for sure. And trying to acclimate and getting on the same page as quickly as possible. I think that goes, you know, hand in hand with like the ability to read a game. If you can read the game well, you kind of like fit in automatically. It's like, oh, then you just use hand signals. Like what's going on? You know, we're here. It's, it, it, I think it was a little shell shocking at first. It was like, oh wait we can actually talk during practice and like we're used to standing at the board and like not understanding or paying attention you know and here we are being able to understand all of it and then you know being able to run it as well so uh it's it's been overwhelming actually to be honest like at times because I'm you know you kind of let your mind wander when you're overseas so it's been it's been really cool though women's volleyball is an amazing sport and people obviously are really hooked when it comes to the college game professionally like softball it hasn't stuck as much. So how great is it for you to just bring this back to the States, bring this back to a national TV audience? Yeah, uh, you, just you saying it like gives me chills. Uh, I, I'm i really excited. I think I come from a university, the University of Nebraska, where volleyball is very well known and like the fan base is unreal. And so I just, I, I'm excited for that to not just stop out of college, you know, for it to continue on. And for those, you know, college fans that want to see their athlete like continuing on and be able to play and having that ability to watch them on TV is, is going to be awesome. And again, I think it's a great opportunity for athletes coming out of college as well to, to have this opportunity to, to be exposed and then for fans to be able to watch as well. You mentioned Nebraska and listen, there are passionate fans, but this is as rabid as it gets with these fans and you have like the best place to play in college, right? And then you go to your next stop and it's clearly much different. So what have been the biggest challenges post-college just in terms of your intrepid journey here with volleyball? Yeah, um, I think for me, like in college, a lot of things are in a sense, like taking care for like for us, you know, like if it's meal prep or, you know, recovery base, it's all kind of very like hands-on and, and available for us where maybe when you hit the pro scene, that stuff is like, you got to kind of go out and find it. And not all pro teams have that length of you know preparation uh, for you and so I think being able to understand my body what I actually need from a mental standpoint also what do I need and being able to adapt and adjust from those things um, I think that was like the biggest challenge obviously you know in Nebraska we chartered everywhere you know we're flying commercially and you know we're often taking to multiple flights to get to places and then having to play two hours later so it, it really just um, another layer of um, accessibility I guess you could say. Where is the craziest place you've ever played professional volleyball? Oh, there is one place uh, in Russia. It's ca called, um, uh, oh man, I just lost the name, uh, Habarsk. I don't know okay. if I pronounced that correctly, but it's we'll on it. the far, it takes from Moscow to there. It's an eight hour flight, wow. but it's still within the country. And so, and there's a seven hour, seven or eight hour time difference. So we would like fly there in the morning, actually sleep and then play in the evening and then wow. fly back the next day. Cause it was so, yeah, so backwards. So, and it was obviously very, very cold and yeah, but very interesting. <laughs> you just have to do what you have to do sometimes. Now on the, exactly. on the flip side of that, you've been an Olympian and that's yeah. a totally different experience. So when I say to you, the Olympics, what is the thing that pops to mind for you when you think about those memories? Oh, even though I've lived it and been able to be a part of it, it still doesn't feel like I have lived it. I don't know. Uh, I grew up and I had this massive dream to be an Olympian, but I didn't know like the steps or timeline or what it actually looked like. And so, um, I don't know, it's very humbling to me that I've been able to be on the world stage, not just once, but twice. And uh, being able to represent my country and and the the depth of of gratitude and I know pride I have for our country goes super deep and um, 
I don't know. It still feels surreal to me. <laughs> it's really cool you had that experience. And I think it's awesome that you're now a role model for the next generation. And I know that Women's History Month is super important to you. I love with Athletes Unlimited that everybody has a cause and initiative. So why did you pick that one? And why does it really speak to you personally? Yeah, so I chose the pink fun, excuse me, <clears throat> because uh, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer from, uh, I was actually pretty young. I was in high school and um, at the time when she got re-diagnosed, uh, my family had to kind of uproot their lives and move. Um, they lost a job. And so times were tough a little bit financially. And so what the Pink Fund does is it allows women to, oftentimes their medical expenses are paid for, but then there's this added expense of how am I going to pay my rent? What am I going to do for fo like food and things like that? So the Pink Funds allows money to be raised to help women in need in those um, dire times that they need some extra cash on hand. And so I'm really excited to be able to represent that. And obviously in honor of my mom, my mom passed away now, it'll be 11 years this year. And so um, in honor of her and just kind of dedicate that to her as well. That's really great to hear where you're doing all that. And so as we bring it full circle here, when you think about Athletes Unlimited Volleyball, if I were to talk to you at the end of this whole, whole experience, what are you hoping to accomplish? What do you think would be the biggest thing to come out of this? Oh man, I just hope that um, people see like the empowerment of women. I think this is, and, and of athletes. I think the cool thing about this league is that it's athlete driven. You know, they're giving a lot of decisions and drive to the athlete and the choices of the athlete. And so when I talk about the player executive committee and just the voice, you know, of, of the whole league really is what do athletes want and what do they want to see? And, and then obviously from a fan's perspective, you know, being able to, you know, follow their favorite player, having the, the limited pick, there's so many little nuances that are, that are going to be fun to follow along. And also the draft, the draft, I mean, just really, there's so many things that are, that are going to be fun along the way. And, uh, but I just hope that at the end of it, even as an athlete being a part of it, I hope that I come out better and stronger and, you know, more empowered to know that I can do anything. And, uh, that young girls at home can also see that uh, playing professional volleyball in the States is possible. Well, Jordan, you're one of the best to ever do it. Really nice to meet you. Best yeah. of luck and enjoy the whole experience. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much.